What's going on guys? We are going to do a round 100 tutorial. Quick and easy, very simple, four perks only needed, the five needed goggle guns and what guns you really need, what guns you don't. You can only need three but still. And basically what you need to do for this very easy, simple to round 100 tutorial. Let's get into it. Alright, so what's the most important thing in the zombies map? Nothing. Because the most important thing you need before a zombies map is the gobble gums. The gobble gums I'd recommend are Immolation, On the House, Dead of Nuclear Winter, uh, what are the other two? Cashback and Alchemical Antithesis. Those two will be the main ones in higher round, but Immolation and then Dickler Winter, they're helpful for other things. Immolation is useful for the thinking of it, it's for the getting the one weapon of the map because they're the main two things you actually need. The Mass Dog for the camping and the Thunder Gun for the training. And you'll also need the Ragnarok DG4s, which I'll be showing up now. The Ragnaroks are very helpful to conserve the ammo of the Mars Dogra, and the Thunder Gun is for the training when the Mars Dog is out of bullets. I'm going to show you a very efficient way of saving your ammo with the Mars Dogra, but that'll come in later. Now, before we get into that, I want to say, I want to say that the Gobble Guns is up to you. You can pick an unquenchable before and on the house or a perkaholic but really those two are quite rare to get and they're not very needed because it's a very easy strategy which i'm going to tell you about and that's basically it quick disclaimer i'm going to be saying Marstagwa a lot in this video the main reason is because that was one of the names for it in the shadows of evil and that's how i learned to say it but really it's just the Apostle Servant or the whatever it's called now in Revelations. But I will refer it to as the Mars Dogra, so if you guys get confused on what that is, it's basically the Apostle Servant. For the easy strategy, you just need to not open the origin spawn room door. Basically, when you spawn in the door on the left, you just don't open it. Now, the reason why is because you'll be camping on the other side of it, as it has an easy exit with the Wonder Sphere jump pad thing and the the nice two spawns with the zombies. It's really easy because zombies can't really sneak up on you that easily and it's quite compact so the Mars Dogra will have a ma massive effect in the whole spawn room. But before you start camping you need to get the corruption engines on to get the power to the perk machines which you'll need and to get the pack punch open. Now the pack punch opening and corruption engines are fairly easy. They're basically like the Shadows of Evil rituals. Just walk around for a bit. Hopefully they don't hit you. Hopefully you don't go down. Otherwise you'll waste 500 points. But that's basically all you need to do to get the power on. And once you're there just go to Tesla for a act with the pack punch then shoot it down. Then you have the Thunder Gun upgraded if you already have it. That's what the emulation's for, if you didn't know. To spawn the tree, sp to spawn the tree fire sails, then you hit the box a gazillion number of times and try to get the Mars Dogra. In my round 71, I didn't get the Mars Dogra until fifth, round 15 and I like popped the emulation at like round 3. It, it took a shit ton of time to get the Mars Dogra. Well, I got it in the end. Now. Now if you ever go down, I'm here for you, because I have this very easy route which I'll show you now. Basically, you want to go through the jump pad and just go through Origins into Mob. Now through Mob, you go into the Corruption Engine Teleporter to not. Now you go up the stairs and get the shield. Once you get the shield, you also get Jug. Then after you get Jug, you go down the stairs and take a left into the Isendrak. Now in there you want to go over the pyramid and through the door in front of you. 
Once you do that, you'll be in Kino. Take a left and get Widow's Wine. Now you want to go down the right hand side of your stairs, the right hand side stairs, and you want to go into the teleporter to Verrucht. Now in there, you want to go to get Speed Cola, and then you want to exit real quickly through the door behind you, and you go to the corruption engine back into spawn. Once in spawn, you get quick revive and I'd recommend training there for a bit because it's not safe to go back quite yet. Once, the end, once it's the end of the round, then I'd recommend going back. That's how I would do it personally. Then if a Margra or a Panzer spawn in, then you're fucked if you stay in there because it's a very small area, they're gonna fuck you either way. The Panzer, I feel like, is more of a bitch in this map rather than the Margra. The Margra isn't as bad as it was in Shadow of Evil pre-nerf pre anyway. It has been nerfed quite a lot now, where they open two heads instead of one, and they're easier to kill, and they don't spawn as much. It's the same here, just that you have Panzer as well, which are really, really annoying. Because they flamethrower you, and they hit you, and they stun you, oh my god, it goes on. The Panzers I hate more than the Margas, like let's be honest, they're more assholes than the Margas. Now if you argue with that, fuck, are you honestly going to say you'd rather take on three Panzers than three Margas? Just, just think about it, would you rather take on three Margas or three Panzers? Answer that in the comments below, because I honestly think I couldn't. I couldn't. Because pandas are a bitch in this map. So basically, what you want to do is run like a little bitch to spawn the way that I told you. Well, actually you don't have to go through the exact way. Just run through the knock into spawn and train there. Because I think that's the easiest training space or anywhere else you could think of where the panzer won't kill you that easily. Now the reason why I go spawn is because it's spawn. If you die, you can easily get quick revive again. And quick revive is very useful for the following reason. It revives you. In solo at least. This is a solo guide by the way, if you didn't notice. Or if it wasn't the title, as I didn't address it beforehand. Kinda of my fault, but still. It, was, it is a solo guide, so quick revive isn't essential. Now make sure you have the shield of... Gewehr, whatever it's called, the Dragon Shield, whatever, how we call it. Basically, that thing is going to be an absolute OG in the later rounds, because when you have last zombie, you don't want to kill it with your Ragnarok or the Marsaga or the Thundergun, because that's wasting precious ammo. You could just turn to your shield and just use that, or you can go on the jump pad, whatever you want to use. But shield can be useful, and it's good like in the really late rounds as well because in the Gorn Krovi I believe like around 40 it didn't kill whatsoever but now it really does do the job like around 67 or whatever whatever I'm on yeah so just be aware that the dragon shield is useful in high rounds and just make sure you use it as well so now we're gonna talk about the strategy now the Ragnarok's or do gravity spikes will speed up or will charge faster in the very high rounds with one less dog a bullet or so. And if you and if they don't speed up but they are like nearly there, use a thunder gun bullet. There's no point wasting. So yeah. Once you have once you're at that point, just shoot one mass dog bullet, then let the gravity spikes recharge. Then use the gravity spikes to kill off a good few number of zombies. Like, just like spin around, gravity spike one window, gravity spike the other, gravity spike the one window, gravity spike the other, and so on and so forth. Once you do that, it's very easy to get into the rhythm. Then you just shoot the Marsagra, and they're all gonna be floating in, gravity spikes will recharge, and then you go do whatever you did again. Now, once it gets to low ammo, as I said, you just go to the jump pad and go to spawn. Now, once that spawn, just 
train around with the Thunder Gun and wait till you get a max ammo or pop a max ammo if you have it and you have the guns. I managed to stay very, very. I managed to have a very, very good luck with the max ammo when I was playing because. I was very conservative and sick even now I saw Max Ammo right there. So if you play conservatively and you don't waste all your your bullets at once, you'll be fine. You're set. Like you don't even need like alchemical or max or cash back. When I was even playing, I didn't even use my cash back for fifty rounds. Like around twenty I got it. I didn't even use it whatsoever in my full game. It was, like, I was that lucky. The only point where I would use it is if I couldn't get it out of my... Out of... If I couldn't get it out of the gun. Basically, out of my Sunder gun bullets. The Sunder gun does drop drops now. Because I remember some people saying it doesn't, but it does. It has been... Not patched. It has been uh, designed to be like that. In turn, the range has been nerfed. So it's not as good as it was before, but it's still as good. Now some people will maybe like, Ninja, why didn't you use a hat for all this gameplay? Well, for me I didn't find that very useful for camping or whatever, because they'll take too long to make, and like the god mask is obviously a pain in the earth to like learn off how you get it, what to do, and for like the keeper mask which is like one plus hit. You have to like do the wolf mask, which is headshots. Then get the keeper get kills. Just couldn't be arsed. So yeah, the only really buildable you need is just the dragon shield, or you can get the keeper if you want. Like, I'm not going to say anything if you if you do. I didn't find it that helpful though. That's all I'm saying. So a mask is not necessary whatsoever. Just make sure you stick to this very easy plan of just shooting the mouse dog bullet using the gravity spikes and making the get making sure the dragon shield gets the last kill if there isn't very much left. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that would end off my video. I've pretty much covered everything from perks to gobblegums. Now if you have any complaints about my video please leave in the comments below even though it'll probably be a max of ten people watching my videos but Still, shout out to you guys. I'm sad, but still. Yeah, so please leave a like. This did take a lot of time to put together, record, and so forth. But I'm glad, I'm pretty sure it's done.